Hello, people. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. We are going to start soon. Good evening again. How are you tonight? Is everything okay? Como están? ¿Qué tal de cuarentena? ¿O son bien? Bien. Bien, bien. Okay. Qué bueno. Bueno, vamos a, a ver si se más. ¿En qué nos quedamos? Vamos a compartir. Okay, this is the last activity we did last night. Last night we talked about colors. So, if I ask, Um, Daniel Enrique. Yeah, Daniel, what color is your favorite shirt? My, my favorite shirt is dark gray. Dark gray. Okay, good. Thanks. And Joanna. Tell me, Joanna, what color are your favorite jeans? Uh, my favorite jeans is blue. Okay, very good. Only remember that jeans is a plural word. So, my favorite jeans are. Uh, mm -hmm. are blue. Yes, very good. Uh, Floriselda. What color are your favorite shoes? Um, 
my favorite um, color are choose black and white. Okay, my favorite shoes are black and white. My favorite shoes are black and white. Okay, very good. Well, let's continue then with our next topic for tonight. Let me go to the platform. Now, this is our next objective. Por cierto, ¿cómo va con el examen de la unidad 3? ¿Ya todos lo hicieron? No, a mí me faltan. A mí también me faltan. Ah, ok. Bueno. Hay, hay que hacerlo y terminar el examen, sí, porque está ahí de la unidad 3. El midterm exam. El examencito de medio módulo. Ok. So, in this class, you will learn how to use possessives in order to describe belonging of things. En esta clase aprenderán cómo usar los posesivos para describir la pertenencia de las cosas. Okay, we are going to study possessives. Possessives. Perfect. So, let's take a look to this video that is about possessives. We're going to start with that. And then we are going to practice. Okay, I'm going to mute your microphones for a moment. Okay, so listen and pay attention to this video, please. The black car uh, is uh -huh. mine. No, here. My, uh, how to use possessives in order to describe belonging of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possesses that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. 
as you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And um, let me point out what I mean by object socks, umbrella, and car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object I'm going to grade out And as you can see, the object is at the beginning, not at the end, as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends relatives and co-workers. For example, my car is black. The black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress 
is hers. My co-workers computer is white. His computer is white. Okay. Um, well, let's take a look to this conversation and then we are going to review the possessives, okay? Let me activate your microphones. Okay, um, let's practice this conversation. The title is, It's a Disaster. Mm -hmm. Alguien tiene ahí muy cerca el televisor, puede apagar su micrófono para bajarle el televisor. Okay, repeat after me, please. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Our clothes are dry. Where are my new blouse? Where are our clothes? What color is it? What color is it? It's white. It's white. It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, no, it is mine. mine. It's a disaster. It is not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Uh -huh. Okay. Now I am Pat and you are Julie. Okay. Okay. I begin. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? Color is it? It's white. No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, our clothes are alive like blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, the problem. Sorry. Ah, okay. Good. Now you are Pat and I am Julie, okay? So you begin. One, two, three. What color is it? It's white. It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? 
God is not mine. It is mine. It is a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. This new is every day. Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Okay, what is the problem? What happened here? ¿Qué pasó aquí? El pantalón destiñó y manchó la ropa. Ah, ah, okay. Good. Um, so, let's take a look to these expressions or this uh, uh, language. Our clothes are dry. Our clothes are dry. My new blouse. My new blouse. Another is is it yours? No, it's not mine. It's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It is mine. Or this? All our clothes are light blue. All our clothes are light blue. No, whose jeans are they? Oh, they are mine. They are mine. Okay, particularly these words, our, my, yours, mine, mine, our, these words indicate possession, okay? They indicate possession. So these are possessives. Let's take a look to the grammar for this. We have this possessive. We're going to see different kinds, different types of possessive. First, we have adjectives. Okay, or possessive adjectives, possessive adjectives. So we have my, your, his, her, our, their. Okay, repeat please. My, my, my your, 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 your his, his, his her, her, our, our, their. Mm -hmm. So if we make sentences, we say, these are my socks, or these are your socks, or these are his socks, etc. And we also have possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns. Okay. These socks are mine, for example. And we have mine. Repeat, please. Mine. 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 Yours. 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 His. Is. Hers, Hers. Hers. Ours. 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 Theirs. Theirs. Okay. These socks are mine. Estos calcetines son míos. 
So it's different to this. Cuando decimos, these are my socks. Estos son mis calcetines. Okay. These are your socks. Estos son tus calcetines. These socks are yours. Estos calcetines son tuyos. So that is the difference between possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Um, and we also have possessive nouns. Okay. Uh, and we have this. Aha, uh -huh, Marvin. Que desea. Dice que Marvin levantó la mano. Tiene alguna duda? Acá en el chat que nos pone. No tiene audio. Pero los micrófonos están activados. Bueno. Reinicio, lo reinicio yo acá, se reinició otra vez, activar todos. Eh, ahí está. ¿Ya, Marvin? Ya, gracias. Ok. Ok. Entonces, aquí tenemos nombres. Pat. Julie and Rex. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa cuando decimos Pat's blouse? Y usamos esta estructura. Este apóstrofe es Pat's. Pat's blouse. Esto significa la blusa de Pat. Ok. So, in English... You don't say the blouse of Pat. Mm, no. ¿Verdad? No decimos esto. The blouse of Pat. No. Sino que se dice de esta manera. Pat's blouse. Esto... This indicates possession, right? Julie's jeans. Eso significa the jeans of Julie. Rex's, Rex's t-shirt. Yeah, the t-shirt of Rex. And the question to ask for possession is this. Yeah? The question to ask for possession. Whose blouse is this? Whose blouse is this? De quien es? Esta blusa. Whose blouse is this? It's Pat's. Whose jeans are these? There, Julie's. Okay. It's Pat, there, Julie's. Any question here? Alguna pregunta aquí? No? No. Okay. Vamos a ver entonces. Tenemos por acá. Acá de nuevo lo mismo, ¿verdad? Ordenado, ¿no? The possessive for I, my, and mine. For you, your, and yours. Y así sucesivamente, ¿no? For he, his, and her. His. His and his. For she, her, and her. For it, its, and its. Prácticamente son iguales. For our, for we, 
hour and hours, and from day to day and theirs. Miren que pronouns son los que van al final. Bien. Por ahí les queda ese cuadrito, creo que, no sé si lo puse ayer en, en WhatsApp. Sí, lo puso. Ok. Um, aquí tenemos más ejemplos que podemos practicar. These are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. This is tu sombrilla. This is her car. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. Bien. Vamos a ver si... Podemos abrir un par de videos en YouTube para uh, profundizar un poquito en eso, para dejarles nada más un poquito más de información. Bien, vamos a ver si lo abren. Ok, por aquí va. Go English dot TV. Possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. And do we use possessive adjectives and pronouns to refer to possessions and to indicate ownership of something? Possessive adjectives. My. My car is red. Your. Your shoes are blue. His, her, its. His hair is gray. Our. Our jobs are fun. There. Their house is big. Possessive pronouns. Mine. The car is mine. Yours. The apple is yours. His, hers, it's. The pen is hers. Ours. The house is ours. Theirs. The books are theirs. Possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns review. My. Mine. Your. Yours. His, her, its. 
his, hers, its, our, ours, their, theirs. Examples This is my car. This car is mine. This is the house. This house is theirs. This is our kitchen. This kitchen is ours. This is his special moment. This special moment is his. Any question here? Alguna pregunta? Alguna duda? No. No, ninguna. No. No, okay. Bien, entonces. Aquí les tengo an exercise. Okay. I think you have this chart in your WhatsApp. Let me check. In your WhatsApp, I uh have. -huh. Um, yes, it is the last uh, the last image I gave you yesterday, okay? So you have this chart in WhatsApp. The idea is to respond this question. You have to respond the question using possessive noun, a possessive adjective, and a possessive pronoun. Look at the example. The question is, whose umbrella is this? And the answer is Anna. Okay, Anna, whose umbrella is this? Anna. So we respond, it is Anna's, with the possessive, umbrella. It is her umbrella. The umbrella is hers. Okay? I'm going to put you in small groups to work on this exercise. To respond, to complete the chart, and then we are going to come back together to check your work. Okay? Let me check here. We are 11, okay, four groups. 
Any question with the with the exercise? No. ¿Está claro lo que van a hacer? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Entren entonces en las sesiones, por favor. Okay. Okay. No puedo dar algo para tomar. Papá. Papá. No puedo dar algo para tomar. Bueno, la idea es que traten de trabajar en equipo, ¿no? Para ir completando el cuadro. ¿Ok? Sí, sí, che, lo, que está, Pero, lo que estamos haciendo es queremos, queremos conseguir la imagen. Ahorita vamos a ver de ponerla. Yo tomé una foto y la, la voy a compartir. Pero yo lo, yo lo, puse, no... yo lo puse en WhatsApp ayer. No está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, en el otro está. Ya lo hallé. Ahí ah, ah, Hay otro. Ya, ya. ya está. Ahí está. Ya lo encontramos. No, ok. Ahí está. Bueno, veamos. El siguiente ejercicio dice: Whose jeans are these? Y tenemos mm -hmm. que hacerlo con my sister. Sí. En base a whose umbrella is this, sería... Y this... Sí, sería... Uh, it oh. is my sister jeans. Mm, pongámosla. Remember, Ahí. jeans... Is plural. Jeans is plural. Entonces sería. Entonces sería. They are. There are. There are to my sister. 
my sis my sisters they are my sisters en el posesivo Can you see? Go in. They are my sisters. Jeans. Jeans. Okay. <laughs> Remember, it's plural. They, they are, are her jeans. They are her they jeans. Are her jeans. Exactly. They are her jeans. Y la última. The, her, the jeans her, the are hers. Uh -huh. The jeans are hers. Hers. Exacto. Así que, así tiene que quedar eso. Okay. Continue with the rest. Okay. See you later. See you. Solo sería Iris Carl y Manager. Solo sería Iris Carl y Manager. Vaya, el posesivo, el, ad, el, ad, el, el siguiente, el adjetivo, el adjetivo. Vaya, sería, ¿Cómo sería? Vaya, iris, aquí sería, sería, sería Iris, Her Manager, t Cars. No, ahí no llevaría Manager, ¿verdad? Solamente sería Her Cars. Ajá, solamente Her. No, iris, iris, iris de Car, Iris de Car. Sería Iris de Car. Iris Hir de Car. Iris Hir de Car sería entonces. Hir de Car. Pero. Es correcto. Is o Hir. Hir. Iris Hir. Porque el, 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 primero, el primer ejemplo es la mujer. Por sí, eso. Sí. Entonces, como acá no mencionamos el, los seis sí, hombres, es mujer. Solamente uh -huh. Iris. Ir, eh, o sería he, ¿verdad? Sí, es cierto. Is, is, es que ahí cambiaría. Iris he, que sería she, ¿verdad? Iris no, she, he sería. No, Porque she es ella. Okay. Ah, ok, he. His. Iris he, the cars. Pero he, seguro que he. He sería. Ajá. The car. The car. A ver, ¿cómo hicieron esta? ¿Cómo hicieron aquí? Whose car is this? ¿Qué pusieron ahí? Eh, vaya, whose car eh, pusimos. Permítame, ¿cuál es la? Ah, ahí está, ¿verdad? The possessive noun. Iris Gar, Iris Gar, manager, ¿cómo es? Iris, manager de cars. Iris, Iris the manager. The manager. Cars. The manager or the managers? Manager. Manager. It is the managers. Cars. Car. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Luego, possessive no adjective. Es, exacto, está bien. Sería. It is. El otro es. It is. is. It is he. It is he. His. His. Sería. Ah. It is here. The car. Ah. It is his car. Ah, muy bien. El otro sería. Si me va a permítanme. Si es car. Here's. Si es car, here's. No. The car. The car. The car. The car. The car. The car. Is here. Is. Is here. His. Estamos hablando de. Estamos usando el mismo. His. His. Okay. Sería his. 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 The car is his. Entonces así quedaría. It is the manager's car. It is his car. The car is his. Ok. Así es. Perfecto. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Very good. See you later. Hey, muy bien, lo hicimos entonces. Okay. Continue, continue with the rest. Bye bye. Books. Hello, hello, ¿cómo van? Sí, con algunas dudas. Vaya, aquí están ya algunas que hicimos con otro grupo, ¿verdad? Que pueden revisarlas, pueden ver, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Ok, ¿en cuál van? En la tercera, la del, en la de los, la de los libros. Ok, whose books are these? The teacher. ¿Cómo sería la primera? They are, they are teacher. They are. Ajá. Uh -huh, the teachers books. Ok. Y dónde, dónde pueden podemos ver lo que usted está escribiendo, teacher. Ahorita estoy compartiendo mi pantalla con ustedes. Uh, ¿La pueden ver todos? Sí. ¿Sí? Sí, sí, sí. Ok, ¿cómo sería la siguiente? El possessive adjective. They are. El siguiente They sería. Are. They are. Asumamos que es una maestra. Supongamos. They are her. Her. Books. Books. ¿Verdad? Ok. ¿Y la última? La última. The books. The books. Are. are, are her. Hers. Hers. Ok. Here. Tengo una duda. A ver, dígame. En el caso de la, de la primera oración que hicimos, ¿sería mm -hmm. correcto si pusiéramos they are teacher's books o el de siempre debe ir incluido? Cuando estamos hablando, digamos, de, de pronombres, sería en este caso. Este es un sustantivo, ¿verdad? Teacher. ¿No? Ajá. Yeah, usually the teacher, el maestro. Son los libros de el maestro. They are the teacher's books. Yeah. Pero podría ser correcto si no pongo el de, o el de debe de ir así como, porque si lo traducimos literal, uh -huh. el, el maestro. No sé. Porque decimos, son los libros del maestro. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Del profesor, siempre lo usamos. De él, el del es el de él. 
¿verdad? Ah. En este caso es, es, es mejor usarlo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Gracias. Ok. See you later. Continúen con las otras. Ok. Ok. Okay, welcome back. When is it's time to finish? Um, I look. Lo terminan luego cada quien y lo revisamos todo mañana. Ok, because right now we have to stop here. Good night. Ok, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Be careful. Stay home. Ok. Stay home. Practice. You have a lot of time to practice. Okay, bye -bye. people. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. 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 Okay, see you later. Bye bye.